I don't know about you, but when it comes to reading food labels, it can be a little overwhelming for me. Do we check the calories or the carbs? Do we look at how much protein or how much sugar? And then there's all those words we can't pronounce, right? In this episode of Your Best Life, you'll learn what to look for when reading labels in the grocery store and how to keep that really simple. Stay tuned. the type of person who wants to make the proper choices when it comes to what you eat. Packaged foods come with a nutrition label for a reason, to help us know what we're eating. But understanding that label, well that's another thing, isn't it? Hi, I'm Beth Champ, your host and healthy living correspondent for Your Best Life. Today we have a very special guest to help us learn what to look for on those nutrition labels. So please welcome our very own holistic health coach, Liz Bain of Liz Bain Life and Balance. Welcome, Liz. Thank you, Beth. I always love being here with you. Oh, well, we so appreciate it. So when it comes to reading labels, it gets so confusing for us. And there's so much conflicting information on social media as well. So can you help us better understand what to look for and how to understand these labels? Absolutely. And uh, for many, many years, people would pick up a product and they would look for the sugar content or the fat content, which is important, okay? But what completely changed my life and helped me to go from yo-yo dieting to being consistently the same weight is by learning to look at the ingredients, okay? When we look at the ingredients, we see that there's either one or two clean items, like in this jovial spaghetti, which has brown rice and water. That's all that's in the spaghetti versus another product that might have 12 ingredients in it, Beth, um, chemicals that we can't even pronounce, and addictive compounds that are not good for our body. So when making choices about food, what changed my life was learning to read the ingredients and choosing products that only have one, two, three, four items that you know what they are, you can read them, and they're not foreign names that you can't even pronounce. So it's just, it's keeping it simple by looking for simplicity on a label. That's right, because the rest of those ingredients are chemicals. And when we choose products that put chemicals in our body over our lifetime, those chemicals do damage to our gut, which as we've talked about before, Beth, that ultimately leads to disease, okay? What if I don't have time to stand in the grocery aisles and, and read every single label? Can you give me some tips to keep it even more simple? Beth, you're not alone. Nobody has time to stand in the aisles anymore and read label after label after label. We're lucky if we have 10 minutes to run in and out of the grocery store. So if you're starting on this new path of trying to read labels and choose foods that are cleaner and healthier, start with one product at a time. So if you typically go in and you buy say garbanzo beans, okay? There's probably eight different brands to choose for. Start with one product, stand in that aisle for a few minutes, read the label, read the ingredients, preferably look for organic, preferably look for something that doesn't include any bad oils or chemicals. And then you now have that one clean product. So I love Whole Foods 365. There's also another brand called Eden that makes great clean beans. But now I know that when I go to Whole Foods, I only just grab those two brands. I don't have to study them. Another one is gluten-free crackers, okay? There's probably 100 gluten-free crackers on the market, on the shelves today. I've studied them all, so I can do you a favor and share with you what I think is the best. So Mary's Bone Crackers, which comes in like five different flavors, is really just all seeds. All really? organic seeds. There's no chemicals or bad fillers in there. So who doesn't love crackers with something yummy on it, like guacamole or hummus or something? And I keep three different flavors in my pantry at all times. So I have that there. So like I said, if you're getting started on this, start with one product at a time, spend a few minutes, find that, and in the future, you don't have to think about it when you're picking that item out. That is an absolutely great, an absolutely great tip. 
So can you share with us some other brands that you would recommend, since we're on this roll, keep it simple for us and give us some other brands that you think are worth looking into? Oh, do you like chocolate, Beth? I love chocolate. <laughs> right, who doesn't, okay? Love it. Chocolate is one of those tricky things. There's so many brands out there. Most of the pe most people choose milk chocolate. Uh, milk chocolate is filled with a lot of dairy and a lot of sugar, okay? But I have found a chocolate that I love that is actually healthy, okay? It's called Hue Dark Chocolate, okay? And there's many different versions, but the salty version, it's just, um, it's just dark chocolate, okay? There's no dairy in it at all. It tastes delicious, and I have this little secret. I cut it up into like little squares. I put it in a baggie in the fridge where it stays cold, and every day after lunch, I have a square. And it satisfies, satisfies my sweet tooth, and it's good for me, and it's clean. Okay, so that's my chocolate tip. I have to stop you on yes. this one. So she had already shared this tip with me before, and we have been buying this. And this is really a great uh, product in our house because Russ can't eat sugar. We're really limiting that. And so th this is void of a lot of different elements that we would want to avoid. I love this. This was one of the great tips that she gave me. So Good. yes, and you can buy them online. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you like it. Um, another product that I love um, that also takes us back to our uh, protein conversation that we had recently is uh, Pacific bone broth okay bone broth is just an unbelievable product because um it's filled with collagen which is so good for our guts and our skin and our joints but pacific brand is my favorite because it is clean there's only ch organic chicken sea salt some carrots and some water in here so you can feel really safe you can drink this in a mug fill it with a little water and heat this up this is delicious soothing, healing. It's like having chicken soup. It's like having chicken soup and you're getting that protein kick and um, that healing kick at the same time. So Pacific, and they make all kinds of soups. So would you buy that at Whole Foods or would you buy it at Amazon? Where would you find that? Uh, both places. Okay. Um, I make a lot of recipes with this too. Instead of water, when I make rice and quinoa, I use bone broth. So it infuses this with extra vitamins and nutrients. It's a great tip. Um, and last but not least, we talked about my spaghetti. Uh, Jovial pasta is one of my favorites mm -hmm. because it's only brown rice and water. Um, then Athletic Greens is another great product, highly recommended by many functional doctors out there. Um, it's a great way to start the morning. My husband uses it every single morning. You mix it with 12 ounces of warm or cold water and you are getting so many greens in that one drink and it's all clean. There are no chemicals, no fillers, no added sugar. And there's so many of these green powders on the market today. So, um, Athletic Greens is really only available online. Right, so, I've, seen, I've seen them online. Uh, so we we're, we have a subscription to it, but I'm not recommending it because for any other reason other than it's really good for you and it's a great way to start off the day. Great tips, thanks. Liz, you have talked um, a lot about clean products. So take a few moments and tell us more what does that mean and why is that so important? I base all my food choices on clean. Because what I have learned over the past five years, being a holistic health coach and reading everything about food all the time, is that eating real whole foods, mostly plants, is the way to stay healthy and maintain a healthy weight. I agree. When we are choosing foods that have a long list of chemicals in the ingredient listing, those chemicals do damage to our gut over time. And our gut is where the immune system is. And that's why this is so relative, right? Exactly. And once our gut becomes slightly damaged, it leads to inflammation of our organs, which leads to disease. So I'm all about preventing disease and living a very, very long life. So I have curated this list of clean products that are the only products I bring into the house in addition to all the fruits and vegetables, right? So we talked a little bit about um, what it's like to go to the grocery store. Right. Right? Right. How do I shop? So when I go to the grocery store, Beth, I spend the majority of my time in the produce section, okay? And I try to find different fruits and vegetables all the time. And you know, there's a lot of noise out there about like, 
well, grapefruits and bananas have so much sugar in them. Buy grapefruits and bananas, buy fruits, buy vegetables. Don't be afraid to eat carrots because they're high in sugar versus going into the aisles where all of the chemical laden foods are. And processed foods. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I shop the perimeter of the grocery store where the majority of healthy food is and I try to stay away from the aisles. But when I do go into them, I know what are the clean products that I'm going to buy. Well, and that just simplifies everything. And at the end of the day, you're living the message and we do too, that food is medicine. Right. Exactly. Prevention is key and making those proper choices is really what it's all about. Liz, you are such a pro at what you do, and you are so popular among our audience, and, and understandably why, because you offer so much creditable and useful information when it comes to improving our health. So I want to thank you again for being a, being a speaker for us today, our guest speaker. When people want to reach you, and I'm sure they do, they're going to have lots of questions. What's the best way that they can reach you? Well, Beth, first of all, thank you. I have enjoyed all of our conversations about health and wellness, and I look forward to many more. Um, but if you want to reach me, please, on Instagram, I'm Liz Bain, Life and Ma Balance. Liz Bain, Life and Balance. You can DM me directly. Or you can find me on my website at lblifeandbalance.com, where you can send me a private message. And I really look forward to hearing from you. Liz and I both would love to hear from you. And the best way to reach me is yourbestlife, number nine, at gmail.com. Now, be sure that you like this video and please subscribe to the channel. And until next time, be happy and be healthy.